several weeks back, we made our return to multiplayer right here on Brahanka Savannah after more than three months of not playing a single multiplayer session, and now, with a full slate of multiplayer hunts in the last couple of weeks out there, I wanted to come back here to Verhunga Savannah once again, and there's so many things out here that, despite the fact that the map has been out for so long, I'd still love to actually get, so we'll see what we can do, and it's kind of cool to see a scrub here just out and about. Now, I've got my HUD off from making a thumbnail a while back, so we will turn that back on, so in the future we know what we're zeroed for, but fortunately, managed to kind of guess that one, right? And so... For our first kill, we have a silver scrub here. Another species we had yet to actually get a look at in the new harvest screen. You can actually kind of see a little bit of the older model. The newer model rabbits, you can just see the fur a lot better. But anyway, it is currently in game about 11 o'clock. At 12-ish, probably a little bit after that to make sure lions are in their zones, I want to go to what is definitely the best lion hotspot lake now. So in the meantime, We'll see what we can find, but that is the plan for when we get to that point. Now that is not what I thought I was going to see down here. I had no idea that Cape Buffalo drank at this particular lake. I knew it was Cape Buffalo drink time, but we've been down here quite a few times. I've never seen them here. That's actually kind of cool. Before we just go and take a shot, I want to check down like on this end. It, in the past, whether it was Gensbug or Warthog, even Springbug, Jackal, all kinds of things used to drink over there. And with the reset and redistribution, it may no longer matter, but I want to make sure there's not a, a diamond or a rare just sitting right down here below us where we can't see. And actually, there may be some logic to that. That is already a better option than anything we had over there. The other spot that was always good was right by this blind, so let's make absolutely certain that there's not going to be any right down in here. I don't immediately see any, so I think we may be good to at least take that mythical. We'll have to see if we can get a shot lined up, because now we're not in the best spot, but I'm going to assume that it's somewhere maybe behind that one. Way in the back, finally coming up there. If he will just slow down for half a second, hopefully we can get a shot in there now. The Cape Buffalo are a little tougher than they used to be. Sometimes it's harder to get a long shot than it used to be. And kind of the way that we had started to figure it out was to try to go lower in the lungs. That was pretty consistent with charging Cape Buffalo, and it seems to have worked pretty well there. Now, these guys are actually leaving because we are at the end of their drink time. Do we want to go for one more shot? I mean, we can. See if that ends up working or not. That might have been beyond 300. Whatever it was, it got into a lung. And I mean, they're still around, but again, we're in multiplayer, so we'll try to be considerate and not just have hunting pressure everywhere. Although I think the original host actually has left, but a 139 score on this guy left lung, kind of centerish, but at least staying below the center line of the lung there. And we actually did just tuck that right in behind the leg. I don't think it had to go through any of the leg at all. Just kind of right in behind there. And then the second one, that worked out quite well. Got the blood there and the buffalo laying down right in front of us. Probably could not have exited that harvest screen at a better time. This one was 305 meters. Darn near did the exact same thing. Right in behind the leg. A little bit lower and again, kind of lower in the lung is what we're going for. You see how low down the lung kind of dips there? You have a lot of room to go for that. But two gold capes as we are now at 12.30, so I think what we'll do, just to kind of, well, maybe not to give maximum time because I don't want to run into everyone else, but let's see if we can find some other spots for lions. Now this is another one of those spots that has been good for lions for a long time, and clearly still is a pretty good spot to check out. Now I do think that there was another one that had warning called or something right in here. I'm going to assume this is the track, so we'll make sure that we're not missing out on anything special. Average size on the weight, and if we can, we'll get a deserve edge as we move on up through here. This will give us absolute confirmation, and it is a tanfer type, so nothing to worry about. The one that we shot kind of is in the water there. This is odd, because it was just standing there, which is a thing that lions do quite often after being shot, but I don't know how, maybe it slid down in? Regardless, 
did not end up floating back, which would have been the only thing we need to avoid. Another gold here. Right long at 183, just barely. Could be a little more careful about taking that shot maybe next time. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Got a mythical lion here. We can go ahead and try to take that. Again, another spot that has been good, but not way back. This used to be a spot lions would never go, but then at the Reventuli update, or maybe even before that, they started to drink up here at this lake, and we heard another one, so we'll try to pay attention to where that might go, because when you get down close to the water, there's kind of only two directions. They'll run basically along the coast. Looks like that one is heading that way. Talk about opposite ends of the spectrum. Pretty tiny there, but I mean, we'll take that one too. Now, technically, I think a minimum level line would be a level 3, but he was minimum weight estimate at least, and a 40.6 as a silver. I don't know if you can get a bronze male. It may be possible. That's not something we've ever done that I can remember, though. And so, even though we didn't get to go to the planned spot, at least we've now taken another pretty good line. 46.7 there. Still two is shy of diamond, but... Nice to get that guy, we'll just kind of continue going through here. Just for a little switch up here, we might use the 243 handgun and go ahead and take this black brown spring, like something that we really don't shoot that often anymore. And again, it's one of those things we've been asking for it for a long time. Maybe one day it'll happen. Things like the black brown spring buck or the crowned wildebeest, they're only available as a fur type on female animals. I'd love to to see like a diamond black brown spring buck. That would be one of the coolest things. I don't know if there's a real life reason why they've done that, but I mean, just look at that. It could look incredible as a diamond, but as for now, just a little silver. And basically, we are on our way to one of my kind of favorite new lion spots that I pretty much forget about every single time I come to this map. And then I look at it and remember that I like to go and check it out now. So this little lake over here, the last couple times we've gone there, it's had anywhere from like four to six lines, depending on the server that we're in. We'll see if there's anything good over there in this one. By my count anyway, this particular server seems to have four as well. I hadn't spotted everything yet. I didn't realize that was a level nine, but okay. There are three out there and one right down in here somewhere. I've been crouching my way along just to try to show it. And I think it's down below the hill anyway, but Clearly, that is the one to focus on. I almost think, maybe, before he goes to drink, I'm glad we didn't take that shot because that would have been an absolute tragedy. I was going to try to hurry up and get that shot in there. It has been fixed to where they do stand back up now, so we'll go ahead and get ourselves a good spot. Maybe that's the one that I was thinking of. I guess it must have been because it didn't discover a new zone, but let's let him go to drink again. And then when he stands back up, we can... Go for a hard shot, knock him right down into the water. That is crazy. Now, in the past, I've, I've had a feeling that this spot, whether it was on my map or in multiplayer, would produce, I don't want to say a diamond yet, that estimate was okay at best, but even still, it would produce a level 9, I figured. Because basically every time, we were getting max weight 7s, level 8s. Lots of good-sized lines. It felt like only a matter of time. And we'll see where this one goes, but... Not half bad. That looked... I guess that is just a common female. It almost looked kind of dark, but I think it was just the lighting at that distance. But fingers crossed for a decent score here. It would be nice to get a diamond out here on our kind of second return, I guess, to Verhunga Multiplayer. This guy is a gold at 48.22. He missed it by a lot. Like 0.3 shy. Made the shot at exactly 300 meters. Low in the heart, but still got double lung as well. And that is why I said that I didn't want to call it a diamond just yet. I don't want to say lions are notorious trolls, but they seem to troll a lot. So, not a majorly unexpected outcome there. Nice to see a max level regardless. But I'm not really sure where we're going to go from here. We could try down in these areas a little bit. We might as well, and then we may switch servers just to... Kind of change it up, maybe find an early time. I'd like to get after Gensbuck a little bit, if that's a, a possibility. I do have to say, though, lots of good-sized lions on this server. Would have been nice if the level 9 was just a little bit bigger, but 
We'll take that mythical there, and I think the plan will be to switch it up and see what else we can find out here. But we could just about call this mythical number 3 from the server, because the level 9, I have seen level 8 score higher than that. And we will, I think, head on to maybe another server if we can find one. Now that would be a guarantee. Level 5 Wotobees cannot troll, so we're in a little better spot here. Darn near a 400 meter shot that would be, so maybe we'll kind of sneak in, but that level 4 is not half bad either. I think for our purposes we'll just worry about the 5. Yes, stand is still, should we just go for that? Starting to move again, now that, surprisingly, with an estimate of 38 to 43, is the smaller horn, so he's not going to be huge or anything, but I think maybe when he gets into that area, which, is that him back there? We might want to go for this. There are no doubt lines in the area, and I think it would be a bit of a shame if we just kind of let him get away. So once he clears this brush, I think, maybe we go ahead and go for that. Got to lead him a decent amount at 300 meters, and it looks like that's going to be a lung. And as stated before, this cannot draw, and honestly, I think even the estimate would be a guarantee. 37 point something is diamond for them, I think. He is, though, a 38.86. You know, that's a really high weight to be the smaller horns. 37.69 is the diamond mark. Somewhere like 282, 283 is where you start to get the bigger horns. Not bad, though. Yet again, like one of these things that we haven't seen in the new Harvest screen, I don't think we've shot this Dark Grey variant. But that's pretty cool, I kind of felt like, especially after having the level 9 troll, that probably we would not be getting anything real special today, but here we are, switch servers, and I forgot that we'll be shrink early. I don't know if that's maybe what they were on their way over there to do, but certainly worked out in our favor there. I think it does start to be a little obvious that we don't hunt this map as much as we used to when I'm remembering the old Gensbuck drink time, because I joined the server specifically because at the time it was like 7.30 a.m. or something like that. I don't think Gensbuck drink in that window anymore. I think it's 3 to 6 or thereabouts. But fortunately, Wildebeest do, I think in the old common drink window of 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. Lots of species across a lot of maps used to drink then. Actually, we can confirm probably with the zone here. Had a really hard time getting that to actually show, but it is if we look at the bottom one below the lions, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. So at least we were able to get something out of it. And luckily, we managed to catch that herd on its way to whatever lake. And I kind of think we just still found it because they were going towards that one. And that's where I was headed. But with all the crazy amounts of shots that are being taken over there, I thought we'd sort of move to another spot. But at least another decent world beast there, 35.08. I kind of like this horn shape for them. That's another species. You know, we got to the point that Verhunga is the only map left without all species having true racks outside of bison species, which there's not a whole lot to do there anyway. From Wildebeest to Cape Buffalo to Gemsbug, we got the true racks for Kudu. But it's been a while now, and I'd, I'd love to see some of these species get true racks. I think it could be very, very cool and really could revitalize a map that, quite honestly, four plus years later, still is very popular. But anyway, I think what we're going to do is just kind of head off away from lakes into the fields here for a little bit, try to get one more kill regardless of whatever it is, and then we'll go back to the second lodge for our wildebeest. Not exactly the most special, but you know, actually, I'm kind of curious. I was going to shoot this level three spring buck. I think we're going to go for one of these instead. We'll use the 243 pistol just for another opportunity to fire it, but the main reason I want to shoot this one is because this fur type used to be referred to as Black Crown as well. And I kind of wonder, with the fur type update that happened that basically changed all of the common labels to their own descriptive labels, such as with the whitetail rather than three different commons, you had tan, brown, and red brown, or I'm not even sure if those are the exact uh, fur types, but. You would assume then, or I would, that there wouldn't be two different types of black-brown. And of course we saw the one earlier, the really dark coloration female that we shot. That is what you'd expect black-brown to be, so... I just kind of want to see if they actually did anything with it. I don't remember seeing a new fur type, but maybe? 
And I know this is entirely old news, this is like Mississippi Acres update, but we haven't been on this map that much. They still do call it Black Brown. I think Copper would probably be the correct naming for this, or at least a fitting name for it, but anyway, as a bronze female spring buck becomes our last harvest, we'll go back to the trophy lodge with the world of beasts we got. I'll be honest, I don't know why it took this long. We had a 4.6 scoring Diamond Merriam's turkey here, which is about as common a diamond as you can get, and you could argue a diamond wildebeest is quite common as well, and I would agree with that, but I'd even still say the wildebeest is a bit harder to come by, so replacing that and having a nice little addition there, and you know, this second lodge is actually kind of becoming something. Slowly but surely, we are actually starting to get some pretty cool things in here, so maybe one of these days we'll properly rearrange it and see what we can make of it, but I like that we get to do something with Spring Creek Manor as well. I love the design of the lodge, I just... There's not as much room for some of the multi-mounts, and those are my absolute favorite things in the trophy lodges as a whole. But anyway, it was nice to get back on Veronica Savannah. Cool that we did get a diamond despite the troll lion early on. And I think on that note, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.